Hi, Dr. Mancine here, and today I want to talk to you about how to activate the relaxation response. Now, the relaxation response is a physiological process that can get activated and triggered by way of what we call an association. Now, association is a connection you make with some kind of stimulus in your environment. So, for example, you know, when you hear a song, it brings you back to a time, it makes you feel a certain way. Uh, you can look at a picture and it can immediately trigger an emotion, either positive or negative, because it brings you back to a time, a memory. Um, you can smell food and boom, it can bring you back to a time. And when I smell sauce, you know, uh, marinara sauce, it brings me right back to Sunday mornings. My mom's cooking up sauce for hours. It just brings you back to those times. The acupuncture state, what we achieve with acupuncture is what we call homeostasis or balance. This is what gets the body in that very deep recovery state. Now, you don't need acupuncture to do this, but acupuncture is one very powerful way to access the body's natural restorative place. Now, for our patients here, what we do is we teach them to anchor that state, which means create a connection with that state when you're in treatment so that outside of treatment, you can recreate the same state. And how we anchor that is by way of a breathing exercise. Now, the plus on this is that when you do deep diaphragmatic breathing, you immediately start to activate this calming effect and it gets the brain and body into this calm state. When you do it alongside with acupuncture, you have a more profound impact. So often we see it, patients coming in, you know, before treatment, they might be a little irritable and grumpy and, you know, life does that to you. But when they walk out, ah, they're happy, they're, they're feeling calm, they're feeling relaxed. And that's what acupuncture does, is a global effect. Our goal is to help them recreate the state ongoing, not just right after treatment, but how can they recreate it afterwards. So what we do and what I do is we teach them a breathing exercise. And it's a simple diaphragmatic breathing exercise that you do along with treatment and at the end of treatment so that the brain can link in treatment, breathing, treatment, breathing, treatment, breathing, breathing. No different than the Pavlovian uh, classical conditioning. The dogs see the food, they ring the bell. Dogs see the food, ring the bell. Dogs see the food, ring the bell. Ring the bell, dog sees the food. Dog salivates if it, if it hears the bell or sees the food, it's going to create an anchor. So as soon as we ring the bell, the dog salivates. Now, you're not gonna salivate when you do your breathing, but what the breathing does is it anchors you into that calm state that the acupuncture achieves. Do you need the acupuncture? No. So here's what you do. You start with your deep breathing. And how you do this is you start by breathing in through your nose. And when you inhale, you breathe deeply. And when you inhale, you want to fill in the lower abdomen. You don't want to breathe up here. You want to breathe low or as low as possible. Now, it may be a little difficult for some people because they have not been practicing this. But over time, as you continue to practice this, you'll feel the stomach start to push out. And that's really what we're trying to do here is as you inhale through the nose, you're gonna feel the stomach push out. At the maximum inhale, you're gonna hold your breath. You're gonna hold your breath as long as you comfortably can, not till you're blue in the face, you're gonna fall over, it's way too long. You're just gonna hold until you feel like you need to exhale. At the end of the hold, you're gonna exhale real slow out through your mouth or your nose. Now. I'm emphasizing slow because it's gotta be really slow. When you slow down your exhale, you are starting to activate and engage the parasympathetic side of the nervous system, the calming, the rest and digest side. So the inhale is slow, but the exhale is gonna be even slower. So bigger picture, you inhale to full capacity, you hold your breath as long as you comfortably can, and then you exhale real slow. When you do that with treatment, Right after treatment, you start to anchor the nervous system. That treatment and breathing are occurring at the same time. So when you do the breathing outside of treatment, guess what? You recreate the same state as what was achieved or similar state to what was achieved with the acupuncture. No different than when you hear that song, it brings you back to a time. When you do the breathing exercise, it brings you back into the acupuncture state. Try for yourself. If you're getting acupuncture, either through our center or another center, practice it with the treatment and outside of treatment. If you're at our center, Practice it with the treatment, outside of the treatment. If you don't get acupuncture, still do your breathing exercise and you will still gain tremendous amount of benefit by calming and resetting the nervous system. Try it, share your success.